hello friends today in this video we will learn how to build a sample rtf template so for that we will open the report builder from tools then report and analysis so it will open the report and analytics then click on the browse catalog once you click on the browse catalog our report builder page will appear so here click on the new to build data template for our report so we'll click on the new then data model so here you can see you can add the data set as a sql query so click on the sql query and define the new data set so we'll give the name of the data set as sample rtf report then give the data source name as application db underscore hcm as we are using hcm database and the type of the sql is standard sql so in sql query you can write the sql for this data model so here we are using per all people f per all assignments m and per jobs table so based on these three table we will build query so here i am writing the query so i have added the per all people f then per all assignments m and per jobs table now writing the conditions joining for all people f and for all assignment cm using person id then joining assignment and jobs table using job id and as you all all aware that scm has a date track functionality so we'll add trunk of sys date between effective start date and end date condition for for all people f and for all assignment f so that we will get active current active records only so i have written the conditions for for all people f now we'll write the condition for for all assignment cm conditions are completed then we'll move ahead the column we'll define the specific column like person number from for all people f assignment number from for all assignments m and the name of the job from per jobs so we are defining these three columns then once it is done click on the ok here you can see in data set here we have used three column as person number assignment number and job name now we will see the data so click on the data and then view here you will see the tree structured view then click on the table view to see the table view data So likewise we will get three column details in table format as person number assignment number and job name now we will save this data model so click on the save and we are going to save this data model in my folders to save this data model give appropriate name here i am giving sample rtf data model and click ok to save this data model in my folders so once it got saved you can export the xml so you click on the xml so 
sample xml is downloaded open that xml so likewise you can see xml is file is open so delete this commented one and save this xml in local machine so once xml is get save you can open that xml from local machine and see if it looks fine or not then open the microsoft word which having the bi publisher plugins so i have opened the microsoft word and having the bi publisher plugins so i will import that xml using sample excel importing sample xml then we'll import all the fields using all fields and giving appropriate header as sample rtf report so here you can see i have imported all the columns from the sample xml so i'm giving the header so likewise we'll develop the rtf template as per our convenient or a requirement once the rtf template develop then save this rtf template in our local machine having the R rtf extension so give the appropriate file name to this rtf template and save this rtf template once this rtf template save again open the application now we are developing the report or at so develop the report click on the new then click on the report so here it will open the create report page using the report editor so we don't want to use this report editor we are uploading the our rtf template so cancel this and search our data model in my folder so click on the search go to the my folders and search for our data model click on the okay here you can see our data model has been searched so now for this data model we are uploading the our rtf template so click on the upload give layout name choose the template file our rtf template file then give the type as rtf template in which format you want to display this report and click on the upload once the rtf template has been uploaded save this report in my folder give the appropriate name as sample rtf report so once you save this report to view this report you have to click on the view report so once you click on the view report it will generate the output in html format here you can see the html format output has been generated with three columns so if you want to out you if you want to download your output in pdf format you can change the output format as pdf here you can see the pdf output format if you want the output format in excel change the output format as excel so that output got downloaded successfully open that output so it will open in excel so likewise you can download your report in desired format like html pdf